Perhaps no 19th century dancer embodied the sinuous, undulating line as fully as the American sensation, Loie Fuller. After leaving her native Illinois behind, she fled to Paris, where she captivated audiences with her signature serpentine dance. As much stagecraft as dance, her act featured the mesmerizing effects created by the yards of translucent silk that made up her dress. Using handheld wands, she manipulated the fabric to produce a swirling vortex of calligraphic energy. Mirrors, glass, and shifting colored lights completed the performance, so that Fuller's body, the traditional medium of the dancer, dissolved into the synthesis of movement, music, and color. In creating this print, Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec faced a challenge. How to depict a dance form that was all about motion and sensation using a two-dimensional medium? His solution was to meet the abstraction of Fuller's dance with abstraction of his own. At first glance, the print appears to be an amorphous blob of shimmering color. Gradually, the details reveal themselves. Tiny feet and an undefined head peek out from the billowing fabric that envelops the figure as she leaps unanchored to the stage. Only the barely visible neck of a double bass in the pit orchestra reminds us that the dancer exists in time and place. Toulouse-Lautrec made around 60 impressions of this print, each with a different combination of colors. Influenced by the use of mica in Japanese prints, he further heightened the ethereal quality of the work by touching the final lithographic stone with a pouch filled with gold or silver powder. The final effect, with its shifting color and subtle incandescence, creates an image that captures the essence of a performance that one viewer described as unique, ethereal, and delicious. <laughs> 